so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever would believe in him would not perish but have everlasting life. It's this relationship that Jesus Christ wants with you. A real strong, intimate relationship with you. That you would trust your God, the one who created you, who made you in his image. But I want you to know there's something that separates you from God. It's something that separates you from God Almighty, and that's sin. We've lied, we stole, we cheated. And it's these God sins that separate. You. you know, you meet you meet an alcoholic, and what's the first thing they have to do before they can even get right with themselves? They have to come out of denial and realize that they're an alcoholic. So it is with God. You have to realize you're a sinner and say, God, I understand that I've sinned against you. And I want to turn from my wicked ways. I want to turn from lying, cheating, and stealing. And it's there where Jesus Christ meets you. And he says, I want you for the first time to know what it means to have a God living inside your life. The Bible says he takes your heart of stone and he gives you a heart of flesh. So for the first time, as you invite Jesus Christ into your life, you hear the Spirit of God speaking to you. And he wants a relationship with you. What? The cops are right there. The cops are right there. So think about it before you do something foolish. You're a piece of shit. Hey, come on, you're a hater. We're not here to hate you. We're not here to condemn you. Does anybody have any questions? This is the No, sir, you're being a hater. You just want to come across to you. So if you hear that, I can be on him. He will be saved. Jesus makes it very clear that unless you repent from a likewise parent, you can be saved. Aren't you guys lonely out of here? Well, we're sharing the love of Jesus. Hopefully someone turns and but understands. To judge. No, we're not here to judge. We're here to preach. We're here to share Jesus. Do you remember the bar where Jesus said not to judge other people? And we're not judging. Where do you say you can't have gay sex? Why are you judging and saying I'm judging? You're right, you're right. That okay. shouldn't be fun. I'm not judging. All I without Jesus. That's just I'm a statement. So I'm going to hell. There's only two choices. It's either to be with God Almighty in eternity or to be separated from Him. And as self-willed creatures, you've got to make the choice how you want to live your life, ladies. Jesus said there's only one way to get to heaven. So you either say to yourself, oh, I'm too busy. I'll do what I want. And then when you meet God, how will you make it into heaven? Not one of us is perfect. Jesus, not no, none of us. He loves you so much that he died on a cross for you. That you might have eternal life. Keep it real, man. Pull out your love letter, the word of God. It tells you how he wants to live your life. You see, there is a standard for love. We cannot love someone and do wrong to them. We cannot love someone and treat them with disrespect. But when you love someone, there's a standard. And human beings didn't make that standard. God made a standard for you to live your life. And when we broke that standard, the Ten Commandments, lying, cheating, stealing, fornicating, adultery, they had separated us from God. And God knew that we could not help ourselves, that we were all damned to live away from Jesus Christ. But as he sent his son, Jesus Christ, and as he laid on the cross and his blood was filled, it says he took all your sins and all my sins and he laid it upon him and it pleased God to crush his son, to bruise him, that he might be a perfect sacrifice 
for you and me. You see, it's not enough just to believe in God. The Bible says the demons believe and they tremble, but nothing good is going to come out of it. You have to bow your hearts and invite them in and say, God, I need a Savior. I need a God. I want eternal life. I want someone to watch the road I'm going on, the path I'm going. He made you. He made you. That's right. He made you as a free will creature to choose to either invite him into your life or not. And it's not enough just to believe in Jesus. You have to invite him into your life.